we're now getting on the cycling highway here in Walpert, which is one of the first ones in the Netherlands. And it connects the cities of Arnhem and Nijmegen together. And uh, the primary idea was to serve commuters. But actually, because it's such a nice route, you see commuters, recreational users, children, mothers, everybody riding the Rijn Walpart and enjoying themselves. And that's what we're going to do today. We're with a whole bunch of people, have a look around, and uh, we will enjoy ourselves getting to the opening reception of Velocity. We're now waiting for some people to stuck at the lights. This will be the last time we will be stuck at the lights for 18 kilometers. In this region we created a network of super cycle highways. And the reasoning behind that was that we noted that cycling in the city is safe and it's convenient, but it wasn't really quick. Because the main thing of these routes is not necessarily the speed you achieve, but it's the directness and the convenience of not having to stop and being on your own route where you can feel comfortable and at ease. And when people feel at ease, time goes faster. But when you enter the residential neighborhoods, we designed them into cycling streets. With the designs, we put cyclists first, and then we put cars second. And by adding the parking spots, and the trees, and the greenery, we changed the look of the street, we changed the behavior of the people, and we also changed the way people felt. They were happier and using the routes more often. We designed uh, lighting for the cycling routes, which you can see very, very clearly from the, from, the, from the freeway. So I can tell you that every car driver in the traffic jam next Monday morning knows that there is a cycling highway and he knows that there is an alternative. And we see slowly but steady, we see people reconsidering the transportation options and shifting, even on regional trips, from the car to the bike. We've got a tunnel in the cycling highway and tunnels are not always nice places. So to do some innovation, we developed an app and the app gives you information about the route, about the weather and so on, pretty normal, you know, Strava and stuff. But in the tunnel, we also said we need an extra set of lights. And with the app, you can now control the lights. So you start up the app, you get two basic colors, you pick a color, you go to the tunnel and the tunnel gives you your color. But when you ride more often, you get more colors. When I go to the tunnel and somebody else approaches who is a more fanatic or a commuter who is more often, he will get his color and I will get a message, you need to ride more often. Are you enjoying this? I love, love it. <laughs> Incredible the priority that's given to cyclists. I mean, it would just make it so much more attractive for people that don't cycle at home if they could just have a go on how it is here. We see the potential um, for intercity travel in North America because right now all, you've got one choice and that's the automobile and, and to provide options would be, would be pretty amazing. We're so isolated in the city sometimes because we don't have a car to get around and you know those super highways would be just a way to just expand our horizons and be able to explore even more. Mm -hmm. 